What's at stake in this mayoral race as we head into voting? Well, what's at stake is L.A. has a clear decision to make. Do we want to move forward into the future or do we want to go back in time and resurrect very failed policies to address our crisis of 50,000 people, 50,000 people who are living on our streets and tents? And what message would you have with voters who are, for whatever reason, still on the fence? They're headed to the ballot box tomorrow. They hear about your opponent and opponents. What differentiates you and what do you think is the reason they should vote for you? Well, what differentiates me is a several decades of experience of dressing, addressing these very same issues And what I bring to the table are deep relationships on every level of government. And frankly, it is going to take all of government, federal, state, county and city, along with the citizens of Los Angeles to really address a humanitarian crisis. One branch of government can't do it alone and citizens can't do it alone. We have to do it together. You know, there's been a lot of information that's been kind of put out there. A lot of people trying to mischaracterize your record and who you are. Who is Karen Bass? Who do the voters know? Who are you and and, and why are you the right person for this? Well, many, many Angelinos know me, which is why the attack ads are not working. Um, My opponent has spent over $40 million dollars The police union has spent $4 million. I have spent $3 million in total. Their attacks against me, I do not believe are working because people know that I am a fighter. I've been fighting on behalf of the city for years, making significant progress in a number of different areas, but need the support of all the different levels of government. And being in the mayor's office will allow me to marshal all of the resources, relationships, and experiences that I've had over the years to address this crisis. My opponent is a billionaire developer who has built his career on building beautiful, luxurious housing and shopping malls and never built one unit of affordable house. On day one, if you're elected mayor, what's the first priorities? Day one, And day two, day three, it is homelessness, homelessness, homelessness. I will declare a state of emergency and get to work. 